Right. Everybody likes that that parts drop off. Oh yeah. Clip, though. <laughs> so funny. dropping off more parts to this guy. <laughs> Getting powder coated on some of them. She's got a few different colors, a few different race cars. Say this thing was on 13s. 13, 13, 8. Weighs nothing. <laughs> it's a parts car. It's a race car. <laughs> This El Camino Speed, this is faster than everything in my garage put together. <laughs> but yeah, dropping these off, we'll come back in, what would you say, two days? A couple, yeah. <laughs> a couple, a couple. days. <laughs> and get those all cleaned up, powder coated, looking good. Get the intercooler pipe done and the passenger side header. So yeah, tomorrow you're going to have these ready? <laughs> Next, uh... Take your time, I'm, I'm in no rush. <laughs> All right, so just got back from dropping that box of parts off at my buddy's house uh, so he could powder coat the headlight bezels and then do some welding on some of the headers and intercooler piping. I said I did a little bit of welding, but not much. Just did the seat bracket, so I'll show you guys that in a second. But for the most part, before the seats go in, camera ne never wants to there it goes before the seats go in well i think the dolls climb in <laughs> the bench seat come here that's it good boy so <laughs> uh before the buckets go in uh, i decided to go ahead and probably it'd probably be the smart thing to do get the headliner in so i don't have to work around the seats and everything in there so went ahead and picked up some headliner adhesive already had the black headliner fabric so I'll get to putting those together and then get the headliner in maybe a few trim pieces but like I said the trim pieces they might be recovered but I did get the seat bracket or seat mount all welded up it's not the prettiest but I think it blends in especially with a little bit of black paint on there good to go so that's ready to go the seats are in I did go exchange the battery the one I got was um wasn't sealed and with it going in the trunk my neighbor he was like oh is this a AGM battery or not I was like nah it's just a regular battery so went and swapped it out to the Everstart Platinum which is a sealed battery um with the AGM mat or whatever it is so went ahead and did that just a little bit of peace of mind 20 more bucks uh, not to it but yeah all the the turbo stuff's off this side so with it off might as well swap out the spark plugs and then get the excuse me get the uh, thermostat uh, housing and thermostat actually mounted on there so took the header off but it's going to be modifying the header a little bit to try to poke it out so that when I put a hose on here it won't burn through so we'll see how that goes it's going to be a couple weeks before I get that back so I'm not in too big a rush I'm still planning on having the first start up by the end of the month so should be back by then um, and took a little bit before pictures of the headlight bracket so he'll powder coat those so anybody local once I get those back I'll show you guys how those look if you need some work done, he could do just about any color, order samples, see how they spray out. And uh, if you need some stuff done, I'll put you guys in touch with him. My rates are good. I'm not sure how much to charge anybody else, but I'm pretty sure if I send send some referrals his way, he'll, he'll hook you up on some powder coating stuff. He's working on a bigger uh, oven now. So right now, just smaller stuff. But once he gets a bigger oven, I might be able to do things like the uh, gas tank uh, straps to hold that down and stuff like that but yeah let me try to get the headliner done before it starts raining so uh, yeah I'll probably wipe this down with some wax and grease remover let it dry for a little bit and then put the adhesive on there so I'll put the adhesive on the plastic and then the adhesive on here get it all smoothed out and then I'll cut it to shape yeah but after that 
I'll mount the seats in there once the headliner's in, just so I don't have to worry about working the headliner around the bucket seats and make it a lot easier to install with the seats out. So yeah, cut you guys back on when the headliner's done, maybe when the headliner's done and the seats are in, who knows, but yeah. All right, so just got back from the store. Talked to my neighbor, he said he was gonna help. Just keep an eye on the weather. Think it might be a little sprinkle and then it should pass, so. Give it a few minutes before I call him over to try to do the headliner again. But the seat brackets, I left them loose for now, just because I want to get them in the car. And if I have to adjust them a little bit, I can. So, um, still a little play in there. You just gotta keep in mind what side of the seat is the driver's side, what side is the passenger side. Easiest way is what side you want the levers on. So. I'd want them on the outside, so this would be the passenger side. The driver's side would be obviously on the driver's side. Um, and keep in mind the mounts. Like I said the back two are a little bit taller than the front two braces. So, or brackets, whatever you want to call them. So, you got to keep in mind when you're putting them on there so you don't reverse them. The hardware did come with these mounts. Like I said, I just got them off eBay. I'll throw a picture up of the ad I got, but once you enter your car information, they should pop up. They're 135 for the set, so uh, shipping was a little high, but they got here in like three, four days. So I'll keep the plastic on the seat. Just wanna give you guys a little look on what it's gonna look like. Like I said, to me, that doesn't look square right now. So once it gets in the car, like I said, if I need to adjust a little bit, I can. Um, I said if I need to throw it on the outsides, I could do that, slide it over either way. So there's a little bit of play in there, but just wanted to get them roughed in there. I might set one in there, but I'll wait till the headliner's in because I don't want to have to take them back out. But yeah, let me see what the weather's going to do so I can get, get the headliner knocked out. And once that's in the car, I'll throw the seats in for you guys. All right, so headliner, it's on. Appreciate the help from my neighbor, Rob. Um, but it's not perfect, there's two falls in there, but I figured the sun visor's gonna uh, cover those up anyway, so we're all good. It is on, it's nice black. You need to trim the little edge right there, but wrapped it around for the most part, around the whole side, so I cut it a little bit bigger. Just wrapped it around, glued the back side, just so. Um, be a little t a little tighter fit in there. I could always go back and sound deadening or put sound deadening on the uh, the roof, but I think for the most part I'll just throw the headliner in for now. If it's a problem down the down the road, um, I'd always take it out and uh, throw it in there. But now with this done, just have to cut out the hole right around here for the dome light cut out the two slots for the um, visors and I think there's two two slots over here one for like the hook and then is it two might be two it might be one um, I'll get those cut out get the headliner thrown in there yeah so hooks up here I think that's it just those two so two hooks and then the sun visor and the uh, dumb white way that's done so just done I'll go over get this in and then put the seats in and show you guys how it's looking <laughs> all right I know this is taking a little while but you guys see it you see them yeah they're in there there they're mounted. I took the plastic off the cover or the plastic cover off just to see how they look. They feel pretty good too. Um, but I like them. <laughs> Threw the headliner in there too, so that makes a big difference. Can't wait to see it with all the trim pieces and the door panels in. But I'll show you guys. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think
think it's gonna look good. It's gonna look real good. I should have had my neighbor help me with the uh, shifter to get that cover on, but I think it's gonna look real good. This one's leaned back a little bit farther, so you guys kind of get the picture with the height. If I'd have went with the taller seats, I think it would have looked out of place. But with them off the, or with them out of the plastic, they look a lot closer in color. But oh, they, look, they look good. What do you guys think? I know the last video. Me unveil, un, unveiling the seats or revealing the seats. That video was, or it is, the uh, the most watched video in the shortest amount of time that I've had. That video just took off from what I'm used to. I know it's not what these big channels are are used to seeing, but as far as my normal views, that video was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, they they look good. They feel good. Um, I think it's going to pop. Especially with the black headliner in there. <laughs> it's looking good. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some type of cover for it. At least for the seat part or the bottom part. The back I'm not too worried about. But at the same time, uh, <laughs> when it's hot like today and I'm driving and I'm sweating, it is going to be nice to have something to protect the seats. But yeah, I'm excited just seeing them in there. Um, sliders, they work pretty good. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna have to find something to keep these clean. I'm not sure if I could. Uh, I think some people ceramic coat leather. I'm not sure if I go that route or put something on it to protect it. But man, they're <laughs> looking good. The car is coming together. I don't know. I'm just I'm excited how it's looking. We'll see from the front. Yeah. I like how it's looking. I like the seats. But you now I've had a bunch of people in the comments for the last one hit me up saying they had the same seats or they were looking at them. And I, I think they fit in here well. Um, I was a little worried at first because I had them on the slider and the driver's side wasn't going back as far as it should have. But once I tightened all the bolts down, I was able to slide back a lot farther. So that's pretty much where it's going to be for me but yeah <laughs> I think it's looking good I think I went with a good choice with the white um, and as far as the seat mount goes I know like I said I had to modify that I told you guys that it was because I had to put the inner seat mounts in when I first got it for the bench seat but um, the factory location of them like I said three out of four of them lined up the other one was half an inch off so I won't worry about if you have the factory inner seat mounts or you need to put some in there. Um, the brackets line up just fine. I just had to modify mine because mine was off just because of where I mounted the inner seat mount. But if you order them, like I said they were 135 bucks off Amazon. They, they went on pretty good. The seats bolted right up to them. Um, I would suggest putting the seats on the bracket before you mount them in the car uh, is a lot easier. I think I mounted the driver's side seat to the bracket and then I put it in the passenger side since I already had the bracket bolted in I didn't feel like taking it out so I tried to put it put the seat on while the bracket was in there and it was a lot harder so if you do it put the seat and the bracket outside the car bolt those together and then bolt the seat in after it's uh that's the way to go but Man. I need to put the, put the dome light back on there. But yeah, the, just having the headliner in there too just changed the whole look of the car. 
I know I'm rambling, but I'm excited. <laughs> it's getting close. It's getting close. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over the seats being mounted, what I had to do. Like I said, I know up to this point, it's going to be me rambling on, but <laughs> it's getting close. I'm slowly starting to see it. And like I said, I don't want to thank my neighbor again, helping me with the headliner. Um, he also let me borrow, I think it's a sister soul machine. Um, Cause I was talking about getting one to try to do the, uh, cover the dash and everything. So he let me borrow that. So I'm gonna get on it, try to start covering the dash to the best of my abilities. If it comes out nice, good if not you might have to think of a different route but cars coming together drop the parts off at my buddy to get powder coated and welded so once I get those back I actually got the dipstick for the transmission and the oil dipstick I got those put on started filling up the transmission a little bit but I have to take that tail shaft off change a I think a gasket or a bearing in there. I think they call it. Yeah, I think it's a bearing. Or so I didn't fill it up too much. I'll take that off, get everything replaced in there. Once I get the driver's side header back and the intake tube, that should should be everything I need. Oh, still have to make the brackets for the intercooler. So once I do all that, like I said, I'm shooting for the first fire up uh, end of August or towards the end of August. No official date yet, but I think I know what day I want it to start. But yeah, <laughs> I'm just it look good. I think it's gonna come together. <laughs> I think so. Come on, camera. But yeah, man. I don't know if it looks better on camera or in person. I think on camera, but yeah, it's getting there. But that's enough of me rambling on. Let me know what you guys think. If you stayed this far in the video, I appreciate it. Um, like I always say, there's something I have, or there's something I haven't done, or you guys want to see me do. Just let me know in the comments, and when I get to that point. I'll be sure to pay a little bit more attention to it. Um, if there's something that's already done on the car, I'm pretty sure there's a video on it. So I'll just go back, find it. Everything's in the playlist. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. And I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But as far as it goes, the 85 Monte Carlo, a.k.a. Mona Lisa, she's getting there. Elko's on a little bit of a back burner. Um, just trying to focus on the money. If I get the money up and running, then winter time, I'll tackle rewiring the Elko. But it's getting there. 